Did I say that already? <laughs> I wish I had a little more time to do my hair, but it'll work. So for those of you that don't know me, I'm Vanessa, um, and most of you guys probably know me from our Instagram, Divine Light Studios. And those of you that follow us know that we just had a baby, our first baby. We're very excited about that. Um, and we had a baby boy, and we had just an amazing, amazing experience. You know, we thank God every single day for this miracle and for just having a really easy, I mean, a very enjoyable experience because let's be honest it's not it's not easy in comparison to what a lot of people experience yes it may have been easy for me but um, it was still hard it was still painful Section first because I do have a lot of friends a lot of loved ones that are due anytime now or due within the next couple of weeks so good luck to us all if you're watching this then either you're going into labor or you're just you know one of us so let's go ahead and get started with a couple of items that I found very helpful and I think that you guys might, you know, enjoy and, and uh, find helpful as well. Um, and our hospital did allow us to bring essential oils and actually our entire nursing staff um, and doctors were really thankful for that. It smelled like, it smelled really good in our room. They would walk in, they'd be like, oh my gosh, it smells great in here. So it put them all in a great mood. So I definitely recommend taking essential oils. So if you have them diffusing, that's great. You can also take them to help and assist in your labor pains or in nausea or, you know, anything else that you may be feeling. So come prepared, bring your essential oils set the mood, right? So another thing to set the mood that we took were um, candles. We took the flameless candles um, and you know what? I would have loved to have them. By the time I got to the hospital, my contractions were three minutes apart. So we didn't have that much setup time. I got to the hospital and I was already like in active labor. So I was already ready to go. We didn't have time to set things up to really set up the mood. But what can help, you know, help you, you subconsciously, you see it, you're relaxing. And relaxing, I learned, is extremely important during labor because your body needs to open up. Your body needs to be going through this process. And if you're tense the way, you know, I was and I was trying to stay strong and everything like that, um, it, it's not beneficial. So, so again, relaxing techniques, um, massages, that was what was happening the whole time because I was in back labor, my husband was massaging my back the entire time. So that's the only thing that gave me really any relief. So take your coconut oil, take your massage oil, um, that is a definite must. So a heating pad. So a heating pad would be great because you're gonna be, you know, in pain. This definitely helped while I was um, in labor contracting here at home. So I constantly had a heating pad on me. Um, what I ended up taking to the hospital was an electric heating pad. Um, and I can show you that as well, but the electric heating pad allows you to be able to um, utilize it at the hospital because it, you know most hospital rooms are not gonna have a microwave where you can keep sticking this one in and out. This one actually smells really good. It's herbal, so it has like a scent to it. So I really liked this one while I was at home. I did the majority of my labor at home, which is another thing that I definitely recommend. Stick it out at home as long as possible, as long as you can, as long as it's safe. Um, and you'll be much more comfortable than being at the hospital. I just wanna be there, no, you do not wanna be there. <laughs> you wanna be at home doing your own thing and just being in the comfort of your home is, a, it's just, it makes a huge difference. Um, but I did use a peanut ball, which you can look it up is, essentially similar it's a, it's very similar to a medicine ball but um, yes medicine ball techniques and peanut ball techniques really help open you up um, regardless of whether you're having back labor or front labor that's always a really good option so, so can we talk about hospital gowns okay so we all know that hospital gowns are open in the back they're the most uncomfortable thing you're always having to you know oh my gosh this and that I ordered one of these really cute gowns to you know go into labor with because you know who doesn't want to be comfy and stylish when they're going into labor right um yes yeah, so very cute very comfy it even has pockets i don't know if you're gonna need pockets at that time maybe afterwards um but the neckline is also stretchy so for breastfeeding you can do immediate breastfeeding because you just lower it boom and you're good um and look at your back is covered so this is what i had to labor in I completely forgot about it. I got to the hospital and I said, throw on the gown and let's get it started, right? Um, but yes, what ended up happening was I ended up having back labor and TMI, 
I ended up being in positions in the bed that were, you know, beneficial for back labor and my hiney was, you know, just up in the air exposed. And although, you know, you really don't care about that during the time, you know, back here, like way back here in your head, you're kind of like, oh, my hiney's like exposed and in the air, you know, in front of my mom and my mother-in-law and maybe your dad and, you know, other people. But again, um, totally not important. Just something that was kind of way back in my head. Like, uh, yeah. Um, you need a robe. That is the one of the most important things that you're going to want is a really comfy robe. So I bought this robe because it's silky and um, I liked it because it was darker colored. I didn't know, you know, what the situation was going to be. And so I didn't know if, you know, getting something light colored may not be a good idea, but I ended up getting this really pretty gown. It's nice and silky. Um, it has a little bit of lace on it. So it's still kind of stylish, still kind of cute because you don't know who's going to be walking in the door. Sometimes you are, you know, breastfeeding or whatever and your doctor walks in or, oh my gosh, your friend's got here. How did you know it was here? <laughs> All of that and you can just kind of throw this rub on and look at how much cuter you look oh yeah I'll put together right so this was really good because you know we had a lot of visitors and I was able to just kind of throw this on and feel a little bit more covered up so this is great make sure you have a really cute stylish robe for afterwards looks great on pictures and makes you feel comfortable okay so as we're on the topic of recovery we'll keep this video moving because I got my baby waiting um, nursing tops, nursing gowns, nursing everything, get nursing stuff. So I ordered um, a variety of nursing tops because I didn't really know like, okay, you know how it was gonna go. The best ones are the ones I'm actually wearing right now. Um, you can see it has the padding there, but has the nice little clip right here. Both sides, you can clip it on, clip it off. Boom, nice and easy. This one is fitted, um, it'll go straight down, so it's nice and fitted. Um, and I liked it because it just made me feel um, just compressed. Um, and it's something that you do have to kind of take into consideration though, is if you're gonna have a C-section, you're gonna have a scar there, so you don't want anything that's gonna be kind of compressing you and um, you know um, irritating you. So they do have these same um, tops in a loose fashion. It'll, from here down, it'll be loose. So I ordered both. I ordered a three pack of these different colors as well as a three pack of the loose nursing tops. Those were essential. And this is actually my first time wearing this one and they're just so comfy. And so afterwards, um, now my favorite, I, I'm wearing this all the time. So definitely get that for the hospital because you're gonna use it at the hospital, you're gonna use it afterwards as well. And um, the nursing top, you can wear the robe right over it and you're so comfortable this is what i wore the whole time and it made me feel so comfortable but um you know these are great because you have to remember you're gonna be getting checked like every hour it seems like it seems like every like five minutes or every time the baby is just about to go to sleep they'll walk in and be like Psh -psh, hello ready to check you da, da, da. and i'm like oh my gosh you guys are quiet um but anyways i liked having um you know not having to wear pants something that is flowy because that way you need to check me okay here boom Put it back down you need to go to the restroom so maybe some of you guys have really gotten that pregnancy brain really bad well get used to it because pregnancy brain turns into mom brain and it just doesn't go away all right so sorry about that it did not have the mic on and i'm not going to redo those clips because the baby's waiting <laughs> baby's hungry and that's our new life so we just keep it moving and we just you know do the best we can and here we are all right so if you guys have been doing research on recovery and things like that you know that um, you've probably come across these witch hazel pads right these DIY witch hazel pads um, why DIY when you can just buy so got these off of the Zon course and these are pretty much the perineal cold packs Okay, so instead of making your own and putting them in the freezer and then, you know, transporting and whatever, whatever your plan, your plan is on doing, forget that and just buy these. Okay, here's the front, but what it is is basically just like an ice pack, goes into like that, obviously down here um, in the perineal area, so you don't have to stick any pads into your freezer with the rest of your food. Um, you just crack these babies, boom, put them there, and instant relief. They, um, they do work. Okay, so I had a six-page birth plan. Um, 
that was probably the best investment into my time that you know I could have done because instead of having to explain myself and what I want and what I was thinking and what I knew and what my situation was to every single person um, yeah that birth plan everybody was able to read it and when they came in I was able to say hey we did you get a chance to read the birth plan got an extra copy right here if you didn't but yeah everybody was already in tune with what was going on because I had a very detailed birth plan on there. I put that I was a first time mom, that, you know, we were first time parents. I put who I wanted in the room, who, you know, I didn't want in the room or, you know, what I wanted after the birth or in the, in the, in the situation that this were to happen, you know, what steps and procedures we wanted to take. Um, and just having that, you know, as well as having your support team, your husband, your family, whoever it is there advocating for you, knowing that I had that in writing, um, you know, allowed me to feel very safe and secure knowing that, you know, the, the medical team also knew what my wishes were. So that was great. I definitely recommend um, you taking time with your, your husband, your family, whoever it is that you're going to have there to sit down and really look into this detailed birth plan because it'll bring up topics of conversation that you may or may not have had beforehand. Um, and you know, what to do in, the, in those situations. Um, I read about it and I heard about it and I was like, oh, don't really get it. You're gonna need this. Okay, so this is what they give you at the hospital. Um, you fill it up with warm water and I brought my own witch hazel and some organic perineal spray. Um, but this is what they give you at the hospital. You fill it up with warm water and as you're going to, you know, use the restroom, you have to, you know, squirt it down there and it helps alleviate some of the stinging and the pain. Um, the Frida company has another one that's angled um, and I don't know where mine is at right now but that is a very good investment because you don't have to be like kind of angling your hand to kind of go in there and, and spray around. On to the topic of that mesh underwear that they give that the hospital gives you. Um, everyone said, a lot of people were telling you that it's the most comfortable thing that you're gonna wear, blah blah blah. You don't need anything, just go to the hospital with you know nothing and they'll give you what it is that you need to wear. Yes, they will, but there's better stuff out there, okay? So what am I talking about? I'm talking about the always adult diapers. Okay, so I'll link the ones that I got below, but they're super cute now, okay? So not super cute but you know they're not terrible that is definitely something that is a must so definitely get those i'll link them below trust me when i say that it's much better than having to deal with mesh underwear and pads and you know which which hazel things and all this other stuff i just felt much more put together after that um because you know i felt like i was just gotten out of a procedure with everything else but i definitely wanted to experience it and try so i could see the difference so i first did use what they recommended and then i went with the always adult diapers so where are you guys gonna put all this stuff, right? Okay, so they say, all right, bring your hospital bag, blah, blah, blah. I did not bring a hospital bag. I brought a hospital suitcase. So I brought a suitcase, especially for this. I didn't wanna have to be bringing, oh, here's my bag, here's my baby's bag, here's my husband's, here's some snacks, here's this and that, no. I wanted to bring one suitcase, one big center, like, go-to bag, right? So that if anybody's like, where's this? Where? Everything's in that bag, all right? So I bought a suitcase. Boom, 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 put everything in there, organized, okay? Stay organized, guys, it's key. So I got, um, well, we've already had travel cubes because we, we travel so much. So travel cubes, if you do not have them, are essential when traveling or going anywhere. It's, you already know to bring your, you know, your toiletries, your hairbrushes, and your flat irons, and your makeup. And you think you're not gonna use your makeup, but sometimes, you know, you might want a picture or two. Um, we did contract a photographer to come in and take some photos of us. I recommend that. You can call me. I'll come and take pictures of you guys. Gotta get back to my baby now. So thank you guys. Um, I hope I helped a couple of you guys out. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and hearing a little bit about my experience. If you're about to go into labor, good luck. You know, stay strong. Your body was made for this. Remember that. Trust your medical team. Trust yourself you know, and just pray and go into it with, uh, go into it with some, uh, confidence and know, you know, you can do it. So, 
um, yeah, so like I said, uh, hopefully this video helped a couple people out. Um, I know a lot of people were asking about the labor story, my labor personally, and how it, how it went. So if I get a chance, I'd love to share that story with you guys. Um, but I definitely wanted to make sure that I got the helpful tips out there first for my moms that are going into labor soon. So good luck, guys. Love you. If you need anything, let me know. All right. Bye.